Okay, let's talk about the slasher rework. I know we've been expecting the Pursuit rework to come out, but since we haven't gotten any teasers, I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't be happening just yet. Anyway, on to the slasher rework. If you watch the entire trailer, you can see the new slasher model and the slashing animation. One thing I also noticed is that they might have removed the ability to throw knives. The current slasher, which is the old version, has throwable knives that can pierce through enemies. However, in the trailer, we don't see any knife being thrown, but then again, it's just a trailer. Of course, they're not going to reveal all the changes to the tower. It would ruin the hype. Also, this tower is limited for one week only, meaning that before the rework, you really need to buy it. It's essentially a marketing strategy. They want you to purchase the tower now so you can enjoy the rework when it drops. The good news is that the rework is coming soon, likely this month. In the trailer, we can see the new slasher, and I feel like it might have some critical damage effect, or maybe that's just an animation effect. The rework will be part of the Halloween update, which was a bit unexpected, although the slasher rework had been mentioned before. To be honest, I kind of forgot this tower even existed. I should have realized that with Halloween approaching, there was a high chance the slasher would return, and it did. This tower is still good and holds up in the current game modes, but we'll see how it performs after the rework. Hopefully, the throwing knives stay, as they're what make this tower unique. Well, I guess that's all for now. Make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.